This is a smart microwave. You can text it what food you want to cook, and it will determine the best time to cook it for. So right now we can say, we can text, we can say, all right, we want to cook a potato, and we can even give it modifiers. Let's say we want to say this potato is frozen. We send it to the microwave, and then the microwave is now turned on. But in the meantime, the microwave has texted you telling you that it is currently cooking the potato and how long it will cook it for. Uh, so what we did is we took two APIs, uh, the, Google, the Google Maps API and the Mastery World Weather Online API. We take your current location, we find cities kind of around you, uh, and so then we pull icons from the uh, weather API. It's all real-time weather, so it really helps you Like you can, if you want to open the app and figure out the, the weather around you uh, or if you're going somewhere nearby. So the RC car controller is connected to an Arduino board that we rewired using transistors and it's talking to the Leap Motion uh, hand control device through a socket server. So you can move your hand to direct the car. This is just uh, any source of music, so you can plug in an iPod, a laptop, now I got my phone plugged in right now. So it comes in through a standard 8 inch jack, runs through that into our Arduino, where we do an analog to digital conversion. Take all of those numbers over a serial connection into our Raspberry Pi. We pump those onto the GPU and we run a fast Fourier transform before displaying the frequency domain here on our little LED matrix. And all of these colors are completely changeable using a PHP page that the Raspberry Pi is running over here on our laptop. I worked on a Chrome extension called Dogeify, which pretty much changes every single image on your on your browser to an image of Doge, or in other words, a dog. And so it also changes all the fonts to Comic Sans. It's great for like pranking your friends because it shows up as a uh, Google Chrome extension, but it doesn't show your little like pictures. If you're free to rate it, five stars. Toss a comment in. Prank your friends. Have lots of fun. So basically, we have an Android app that lets you create a virtual space for you. So you can leave a message on this space. So you say, you say hi. So it uses my phone's location and my phone's direction to use this virtual space behind it and store a hi there. So I can just save it. And for anybody who has this app, if you're just passing by and you point it in this direction and then you say view, it's like virtual graffiti, wherein uh, you can tag any wall, you can tag any place, and whoever wants to see the tag can just use their mobile phone and view what, what you've drawn there. The basic idea behind Skyrite is that it actually connects you to people around you. So what ends up happening is you make an account, you sign in, you shoot your, uh, uh, your coordinates up to our server, and then we give you all the clouds that are uh, within those coordinates. Those clouds have pictures, have data, they have images. When you do that is you can like them, you can uh, comment on them, you can see the people's profiles, and then the more you like something, the more cumulus it gets, the more cumulus the cloud gets, the bigger it grows. So that's basically the idea of Skyrite is connecting the people around you, literally. All right, so what we built here is actually a YouTube enhancement suit. So what we try to do is to reinvent the YouTube's commenting system. Right now, YouTube's commenting system, in our opinion, is, well, it's not the best thing out there. So instead, we try to make it fun. So you uh, write the comment here, and you place it, and you drag it around to you know, place it where you want to, and you submit it, and it will be there. So that's it. That's our hack.